Okay, for this video we are going to do the front brakes on our 2013 Camry. And uh, for this job, don't need too many tools. Uh, we're just going to use a 14mm socket with our ratchet. Also a 17mm socket. And then we're also going to use a 17mm uh, wrench, which is used to um, hold the uh, sliding pin there. But uh, it's actually kind of a narrow space, so what we did is we actually ground it down a little bit because uh, some wrenches won't want to fit in there. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to remove the caliper. Here we go. And this brake hose is in the way a bit, but you can just push it out of the way. It's not a big deal. And let's see. Uh, see, then when it, if it wants to spin, you gotta use your wrench. There we go. And that way you can get the bolt loose. There we go. Alright, then your caliper will just slide off. And I'm just gonna set it up. It out of the way there. Just be careful, you don't want it to drop and yank on that hose. Uh, it's not good to do that. Okay, so now we got our pads here. We got some retaining springs here that we're going to take out and set those aside. And then I'm going to remove the pads, which have some anti squeal shims on them. There's sensors, so when you're replacing your new pads, you might need to transfer these little sensors. They just slide off. And well, actually, I might need a little prying. I don't have my screwdriver at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, th those might need to get reused or transferred. And then take the other one off. And then, um, oh, be sure not to be sure that your hardware, your little fit kit, stays in place here. Uh, those pieces are important. And then now we're going to remove the uh, the brackets. Actually, this might be on pretty good. We might need a breaker bar for this one. Oh, yeah. Breaker. <laughs> okay, so for these uh, caliper bracket bolts, they're in there. They're torqued in there pretty good. So I'm going to just use, I'm gonna use a breaker bar to get them out. Make it a little bit easier. There we go. You don't have to use a breaker bar, but it's a lot more convenient. Then your rotor is supposed to just slide off, but I think this one's got a little rust. So, all right. So now uh, we're gonna get this rotor off of here. Um, it it has rust build up in there, um, and so it doesn't want to just slide off. So that there are these threaded holes right here. So we've added actually added some tools to our list since we started, and. Um, this is a 12 millimeter head bolt. It's just a standard thread pitch for a Toyota. Um, so if you have some extra bolts lying around, well, we tend to. But um, so you can set these uh, bolts up, and then just get out your little um, three quarter. I mean, sorry, one quarter inch um, ratchet will work. And then just tighten them a little bit of time back and forth. And it'll start to pull the rotor off. Whoa, the sucker's on there. Alright, now it's starting to come out. I don't know how this thing has so much rust when it's so new. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So there, your rotor is removed. And of course, we want to get these bolts back out. And then the other part, well, since this is... 
um, a vehicle that is not actually due for a brake job. We don't have to do all the steps for this one. But the next part would be compressing the uh, piston into the... Oh, let me bring it down. I guess so you can see it. Okay. So the next part is compressing the piston back into the caliper. So you need to push this one uh, back so you can have room to fit your new pads in. Um, but since we're just going to put the pads back, we don't need to do that. Uh, let's get that tool so we can show how it's done. There we go. Okay. So here's a real basic uh, version of the tool here. You can get these at any parts store. And then what you can do is take like an old brake pad and then shut, set the tool in there. And then and there we go. And then you just turn it and just ease that piston back in. This one is extended a little bit, so you can actually push it back. And then you'll be able to get it around your new thicker brake pads. Okay, so then we're gonna reinstall our rotor. And then it's gonna wobble a little bit. That's okay. Uh, what you can do too is put a, um, a lug nut on there to hold it in place. There we go. So now it's not going to wobble around. We can put our bracket and our caliper back. And let's see. So I'm going to reinstall the bracket. So I've got my bracket installed, and I'm just going to tighten it down. Okay, and then the next thing to do is put our brake pads back in, and actually, I think we had them like so. Yeah, so there's a little spring in the fit kit that you have to push the brake pad into and make sure it all lines up. There we go. Alright. And we gotta put our little springs in. They go into the little holes here. So that's going to push the pads out a little bit, so we're going to have to squeeze them in together when we go to put the caliper on. Oh, also, um, actually, another good idea, too, uh, that uh, we like to do is put lubricant on the contact points with the hardware. Uh, that will help avoid squeaks. Also, lubricant behind the shims, between the shim and the brake pad. That will, there's that will also avoid noise. All right, so then I'm gonna get our caliper here. That has the piston compressed. I'm gonna squeeze in the pads. There we go. Get it back over. I also want to check these pins to see that they are properly lubricated, and if they're running dry, put some lubricant on those before you complete your brake job. There we go. Those are fine. I'm going to put our mounting bolts back in. 
Oh, and another thing you can do too, if you have corrosion like right here, put a little anti-seize on these bolts. That way they don't get frozen up for the next time you have to take the brakes apart. Alright, so we're going to use our 14 millimeter socket. And see that pin wants to spin. So we're going to use our 17 millimeter wrench to uh, hold that in place. So there's going to be a little uh, free play here because we compressed the piston um, a little more than it needed to go, but that's okay. Just got to make sure and step on your brake pedal and uh, get the uh, piston to compress the brake pads and uh, then you'll be good. I'm going to take this lug nut out and then uh, we'll put our wheel back on torque it down and uh, then we'll go ahead and do move on to our other side or passenger side which is going to be the same exact uh, procedure and uh, like I said before you go and uh, drive the vehicle make sure you press the pedal to push that piston against those brake pads so that your brakes function properly and that about does it